So you know how you're walking down the road and you look off the side and you're like, hot damn, that is nice. That is this, that is Rolla. Rolla is here at Eurobike 2023. And without question, it is the single platform that everyone is talking about, at least they're asking about it. And so I figured I'd take a little bit of a dive into what it is and what it isn't and my thoughts on it, both good and bad. After talking to these guys for a while and also talking to other people that have been kind of poking at this booth over the last couple of days here. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is the graphics. I and mean, the graphics are astounding. They're what you see right here. This is not like a pre-recorded video. Uh, this is coming off the computers directly behind me uh, in this thing, but that's actually not the most interesting part. What's most interesting about it is it's also being streamed from the cloud. Uh, so they're basically two different models because it's arguably the most important part of Rolla. Yes, the graphics are pretty, but how they do the graphics is what matters. Uh, also what matters is that this video is sponsored by the Pose Closet. More about them a little bit later on. So Rolla has basically two parts to it. Uh, first off is the app part of it, and then there's a the companion app. So the app part is called Rolla World. That's the piece that runs all of the graphics that you see right here. And you can basically run that in two different configurations. The first one is you can go ahead and run it on a computer, so on a PC or Mac or what have you locally, or you can run it from their cloud service. So you can use something like uh, Apple TV, and that's actually not gonna run it on the Apple TV, but it's gonna run it on their cloud service. You can use an Amazon Fire Stick. You can use any platform you want and not have to be you know, bound by how good your hardware is and get this level of graphics from whatever platform you want. It's a core differentiator between something like Zwift or any other platforms out there today that your graphics capability is bound by how much money you wanna spend on that graphics card. So on the cycling side of things, they have roughly 130 or so kilometers of routes. Uh, now it's basically in one world. Uh, so this is one world here with a bunch of different routes, six kind of core different routes that you can take and follow along. Obviously that'll expand over time, but that's where they are today. What's interesting though is you can both cycle it as well as run it. And check out this runner graphic right here. Check out this guy running. It actually looks like a guy running. Compare that to it for a second, the Zwift runner. Obviously Zwift has you know paved the way in that virtual realm for running, but I mean, we all gotta admit, this runner looks way better here in Roll than it does as Zwift. Of course, there's lots of other caveats we'll get into in just a second. You can also customize your avatar. So they have a garage. The garage itself looks like astounding. When's the last time your garage looked like this? It looks absolutely beautiful. And there's lots of things you can customize. What about compatibility with hardware? Anything that's Bluetooth enabled. So uh, Bluetooth power meters, Bluetooth trainers via FTMS, that's all supported. Pretty much any trainer platform out there. Again, using power meters, FTMS, or uh, speed and cadence sensors. And this is also true on the running side as well. So you can use that same Bluetooth connectivity to go ahead and pull in that data. And of course, one of the reasons why people are on Zwift is the social element of it. It's you know club rides and races and groups and all that kind of stuff. And today, that isn't entirely here. That's, that's their plan going long term, but uh, even medium term, if you will. But today it's more about riding and riding from more of a, like a fitness side of things or a social side of things, not socially, leisure side of things. Uh, in fact, they have an entire separate uh, phone app that has basically calorie tracking and health tracking and pulling data from all sorts of crazy things, even like the aura ring and you know your sleep metrics and all that gets pulled into that. So that is one area where they have stuff that's extra compared to Zwift, where Zwift is purely focused on uh, that cycling or running experience and purely focused on the indoor side of it. Uh, these guys can also, using this you know app right here, track your outdoor workout as well. And they can pull that data into this and look at calorie burn. And uh, now whether or not that matters to most riders, yeah, I, I don't really know. I think it matters to kind of the general purpose uh, or gen more general user, but I would question whether or not it matters to most core Zwifters. At least it wouldn't re really matter to me, to be honest. Uh, but that is there if you want it to be there. And again, they are saying they're gonna add in those events down the road here, including meetups and group rides and so on. All the things you would expect from a platform as that platform grows. Now, speaking of platforms, here on YouTube, this video is sponsored by The Pros Closet. The Pros Closet is an awesome company. It has thousands of bikes in stock today, uh, but more than just all the bikes that you can want, all the categories you want, from mountain bike to road bike to gravel bike, whatever the case may be. In fact, I even picked up a gravel bike just a couple weeks ago when I was out visiting them in Colorado. They've also got accessories. So they got indoor trainers, the things that you would need to use on roller or heart rate sensors or power meters, all that stuff is there. And you can basically pick up the accessories you need from them, or you can even build up an entire bike. So you can build up the frame and, you know, the drivetrain, all those things, they have them in stock. And you can actually send your bike into them when you're done with your bike, that bike's had its life. Uh, and they'll go ahead and they'll inspect the bike, they'll figure out what it's worth, and then they'll send it, and they'll give you either cold hard cash or a credit for a future bike for them. What's cool is when those bikes come in, they get looked over by a master mechanic, any bike parts that need replacing get replaced. Uh, and then it basically gets completely washed and tested and validated again, and then boxed up and ready to go. So when you go on their site and pick a bike, there's like bikes instantly ready to ship that moment. 
Uh, now, if you want 40 bucks off the next purchase of $200 or more, you can use the code that's linked down below in the description right there that gets you that discount. Uh, but definitely check out the Pro's Closet, both for their bikes as well as for all the accessories and all the components you may need for any of your cycling adventures. Now, if that adventure is on roll, the question then is, what is the cost? And right now, and for the next year or so, it's free. Uh, there is no charge to use a platform. Like most of these platforms, they start off free uh, talking to their founder. They basically want a way to go ahead and get that feedback in and figure out what people like and don't like. And you know, certainly, people like the graphics. That's every single person that walks by is stopping to look at the graphics on this platform. Uh, but once you start using it, the question will be whether all those nuanced bits matters. And that's sort of the challenge with all of the indoor trainer platforms. I mean, there's plenty of them out there. Ruby is literally just right across the hall right there. Uh, Tax and Garments platform is right behind them. And they're, they're I'm surrounded by those platforms. Uh, but one of the core differences between Zwift and those platforms is that social engagement piece. It's having the you know nearly a million users on that platform. Uh, now, for some people, that doesn't matter. There's a lot of people out there that just simply do not care about that one little bit. Uh, and that's where I think Roll is probably trying to target those folks first and trying to say, hey, you know, Zwift has all those users out there, but we have some astounding graphics. And we also have astounding graphics on any platform you want, not having to have a $2,000 or $3,000 computer to make the most of it. So it'll be interesting to see over time whether or not Roll can fill in all of those social elements in all of the nuanced details, things like the equivalent of a burrito on Zwift. Um, and there's tons of those things. And it's somewhat the death by a thousand cuts that's more challenging for these indoor platforms. Uh, and we've seen many indoor platforms come and go. Uh, in this same booth location a year ago, exactly a year ago, was MyWoosh. And certainly MyWoosh is around as a platform. They're doing lots of e-racing and things like that, but they're not at Eurobike this year. Uh, and so whether or not Rolla is just simply a flash in the pan will depend on how well they can transition from being not just a pretty platform, but a platform that a lot of people want to use and a lot of people crave. Anyways, I will be giving Rolla a shot back when I get to the DCR cave and seeing how it actually works out in real life, in my own environment, doing my own thing. Uh, but if you found this video interesting and useful, go ahead and like that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one.